Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'm going to show you how to make a four-point saddle bend with the brand new Klein Angle Setter Conduit Bender, and it's set for 30 degrees, because I'm going to make this four-point saddle bend right here. See, I've already made one up. I'm going to take this one down after I get done explaining and so, and so forth, and I'm going to do another one. But, see, this is a four-point saddle bend, and the reason we call it four-point, we've got one, two, three, four bends, 30 degrees, 30 degrees, 30 degrees, 30 degrees. First thing we're going to do is measure up. This conduit has to go five-eighths of an inch into this fitting, so that's where we're going to start the measurement, and we're going to measure to the obstacle. See, right, right here. This is an obstacle, and then all the way over to here is an obstacle. So it's, it turns out that it is 31 and a half inches to this edge of the obstacle. Okay, and then the obstacle itself, this is an important measurement too. The obstacle itself is seven and a quarter. Okay, so we got 31 and a half to this edge. And then we got seven and a quarter right there. And the total length, uh, we're going to this fitting right here. Total length is 68 and a half inches. So it's always a good idea to write these things down before you get started so you don't make mistakes. So this is a four point saddle band. They're all gonna be 30 degree bands. The two first obstacle is 31 and a half inches. And the obstacle is seven and a quarter inches. It's three inches high. The pipes are actually two and three eighths, but we're gonna uh, go over the pipes for a total of three inches. So three inches high, seven and a quarter inches wide obstacle. Now the shrink for 30 degrees is one quarter inch per inch. For every inch of the obstacle, we're going to have a quarter inch of shrink. So a quarter inch times three is three quarters inch. So we're going to have three quarters of an inch of shrink so we're going to add this three quarters of an inch to the distance to the first obstacle so it will be 32 and a quarter inches where we make our first mark i'll show you that in just a second so the total length is 68 and a half inches the multiplier for 30 degrees is right here on the back of your klein angle setter it's two see on this side it says 30 on this side it says 2 that's your multiplier right there so the multiplier for 30 degrees is 2 so 2 times the height which is 3 inches the height of the obstacle equals 6 inches between your bends so the total length we have to go is 68 and a half inches but we have 3 quarters of an inch of shrinkage here in this first what we call offset bend. You see, a four-point saddle bend is actually two offset bends back to back. And you put the distance of your obstacle between them. So this one is three quarters of an inch of shrink, and this one is three quarters of an inch of shrink. We have to go 68 and a half inches. So if we cut our pipe at 70 inches, we should be good. It should wind up right on the money. So I'm gonna mark my conduit that's 70 inches. So our first mark here, the 31 and a half plus the three quarters inch for shrink for this offset. So that's 32 and a quarter. Okay, so we have 32 and a quarter inches marked right here. And then the distance between the bends is six inches. So I'm going to go six inches this way and I have 26 and a quarter marked right here you see so there's two marks and then we have seven and a quarter so 32 and a quarter and seven and a quarter is 39 and a half so we'll make a mark right here at 39 and a half and then once again we got six inches between the bends which will be 45 and a half inches so we have four marks right here. One, two, three, four. We're gonna start with this one right here. This is the one that we got from measuring to the start of the first obstacle and then adding three quarters of an inch of shrink. So we're gonna do this bend, then this bend, 
then this band, then this band. All bends will be made using the arrow and all the bends will be made with the hook facing the middle of the four bend saddle. This is gonna be like the push through method here and here. And I'm gonna flip it and I'll do a push through method for this and this. So I, I'm using the 30 degree angle setter. So you take your boot and you put it on the bottom of this handle for safety. Okay, so this is gonna be a four point saddle band. Okay, there you go. Put it on the ground. I need just a touch, a little touch. There, that's it. Beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna take this one down. And we're gonna put that right in here. Looks like a nice fit. And then for this one, I come down here and we bring it up. There, like that. Yes, here's the bend. We'll put it in the fitting about five eighths of an inch. We have our level right here. See, this is a bubble. It's nice and level. Here's a one hole strap. This is the last bend we did. This is the third bend we did. Now look, these two marks are right on the edge of the obstacle. We've got the obstacle here, obstacle here. So that came out just perfect. And here's our second bend. This was our first bend, second bend, third bend, fourth bend. Okay, we've got a one hole strap and here we have the level. We're nice and level there. And here we have our fitting and we're in about five eighths of an inch in our fitting. Notice I cut this conduit prior to doing the bending and it came out perfect. So there you go. I have to say that the angle setter feature on the Klein Bender makes this easier and quicker. I'll put links in my video description for the Klein Angle Setter Conduit Benders in the half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch sizes in both aluminum and in iron. I'll also put links for the Klein Lighted Level and the Klein Conduit Bending Level, as well as for the new Klein Hard Hat. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.